North Texas children threatened with needles and injected with powerful drugs, and their parents have no idea this is happening. We've told you before about the people who voluntarily seek mental help but get locked up against their will. Well, tonight, Charlotte Huffman reveals yet another disturbing practice. Took me in my room, and they were like, bend down, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm pregnant. 16, pregnant, and she says punished with an injection because she demanded to see a doctor. That's the story of one girl. She asked we not use her name. They put me on a chair and held my arms. And they pulled your pants down and gave you the shot? Yeah, put it in my cheek. Her story begins at this for-profit psychiatric hospital in Garland. Her parents voluntarily admitted her, but then say the hospital wouldn't let her go. I was supposed to be there only a night, and they kept me there for eight days. Your parents were trying to get you out? Yeah, every day. Cut off from the outside world, held in a room upstairs. This is what was happening downstairs. We've called to NASA doctor calls 100 times. A mother demanding to speak to a doctor. A relative recorded the whole thing. We have made 100 phone calls and left 100 messages for the doctor to call us. Eventually, she turns to prayer. Please, Lord God, please open the door and allow our daughter to get out of here and hires an attorney to help get her 16-year-old out. We've talked to more than a dozen children who sought help. Remember, they all walked in voluntarily, but say they were caught up in a troubled system. For-profit psych hospitals accused of manufacturing reasons to keep patients and keep billing their insurance. In a facility like that, no one can get to you. And that's the scary part. But what's even scarier is what some hospitals do to keep children quiet. Three little words. The booty juice. The what juice? The booty juice. That's what they call Our sources also know it as booty juice. They say the injection typically contains strong antipsychotics. So it's like that big, but the needle's this big. They put it in your butt, then you're ready for a numb. You can't hear your body at all or move. We heard several children, all from different hospitals, repeat similar stories. Were you threatened with booty juice? I personally was not because I chose to take the route of keeping my mouth shut in fear. But girls who had been there for weeks upon weeks got it often. Just for acting out in the slightest way, for talking back. They would joke about booty juice, you know? And then the first time you actually see them give it to someone, you're like, wow, where am I? She was at Sundance Hospital. The hospital's own protocol says you can refuse any medication offered to you. Despite this, the 16-year-old says she was given booty juice while pregnant. If that injection did indeed contain antipsychotics, the FDA says that could harm an unborn child. First of all, it's criminal. It's battery. That's attorney Ramesh Shamaya. He's very familiar with the term booty juice because he's sued psych hospitals for illegally subduing children. This is a very strong drug. Which is why, he says, the law is clear. Hospitals must have consent from a minor's parents or a judge. And even then, they can only use it in a medical emergency. Cases where people are trying to literally trying to kill themselves or kill somebody else. Sundance Hospital declined to talk to us for this story, but in an email, the hospital administrator says, Sundance Hospital does not condone threatening patients or the use of medication as a form of discipline. It is only used when there is an imminent risk of harm to self or others and when all other less restrictive measures have failed. So was the 16-year-old's case a medical emergency? You be the judge. They wouldn't let me talk to my parents. I started yelling at them. And what kinds of things were you saying? Let me talk to the doctor. Let me talk to who's making me stay here because I don't understand and I deserve a right to know. And they gave me booty juice. And the next thing I remember is just waking up the next day because I was passed out. 
Listen to what she says happened next. My friend and I discovered a phone in the room and she went and called the police. And what happened? The staff yelled at her and called her stupid and gave her booty juice. We saw no examples where hospitals were penalized by state regulators, so we wanted to know why not. Number one, very few patients actually end up making a complaint to a regulatory agency. Even if they do make a complaint, patient advocates claim hospitals are not documenting their questionable use of booty juice. And so what you end up with is the word of a person who rightly or wrongly is diagnosed with a mental illness against a hospital, and so more often than not, there's no action taken. The teen's family says they've been trying for nearly a year to get her medical records from the hospital in order to file a complaint. So what are your rights as a voluntary patient? We've got all of that information for you right now on our website, WFAA.com. Charlotte Huffman, Channel 8 News.